Haribo, and welcome to Lesson 20 of Basic Madung Instruction. Today we're going to start what I call a five-part kirtan progression. It's going to be a, an example of how to take a kirtan from the very beginning all the way to the end where it's really exciting and fast. And it's going to take the place of five steps. And in part one of this series, we're going to cover steps one and two. And then in part two, we'll cover the rest. So before... I go into detail on any of them, I'm just going to go ahead and get started and show you all five of them, one after another. Okay, here we go. preview of the five steps that we're going to go through in this kirtan progression. It was inspired by Madhva Prabhu actually, Madhva Naidu, who is the famous kirtan singer. He came over here and taught us how to play a simple progression for going from the very beginning of a kirtan where it's slow all the way to the, to the end where it's fast. And we're going to learn all five parts that he showed us today in this video. Let's get started with part number one, which is the Prabhupada with a twist, okay? Now, in all of these Kirtan progression rhythms, we are going to concentrate heavily on particular aspects of the style. One of the aspects of the style is that the K, which is this closed hit on the left, or K, is very pronounced in some areas, and we call that a K or a slap, slap K. Or now. In part one, which is the Brokvatal, the very first K is that slap, which needs to be pronounced very, very hard. K. K. Now, the first line, actually let's let's look at the entire mantra first. The entire mantra is K Keti Gedereta Dhata De Dhata De Ta Ti Tiri Tiri Ta K Kiti gidhere ta dhata dhe dhata dhe ta ti tiri tiri ta. Okay. In the first part of this, it's ke kiti gidhere ta. So let's start with that piece of it. Ke, this first ke is actually going to be a ke plus a ta together. So like a ka, but I'm going to call it ke. Ke. Alright. So the first hit is ke with both hands, meaning K and Ta together. And then, after a short pause, K Ti Ge Dhe Re Ta. K Ti Ge Dhe Re Ta. Now, the, most of that you already know from previous lessons, but let's break it down a little bit just to make it short, make it clear. K, the first one is with both hands, K, and then it's just a regular K with one hand. K. Now, the T is the normal T, G is the normal G, and then when we do DERE, in this case, DERE is going to be a closed hit with the index finger on the DAYA, and a open hit on the BAYA, open hit. So, DE with the index finger, closed, and the full BAYA side, like that, DE. And then, RE is going to be all three fingers closed like this, and then ta you know already. Alright? 
So let's go ahead and begin again. Alright? Let's go ahead and Let's move on to the next piece of this, which is going to be dhata de dhata de. Pretty simple, but let's just make it clear. Dhata de dhata de. So dha is of course both hands open together with the index finger. Da dhata. So just another da, and then close with all three fingers and de. Very simple. Da, da, de, da, da, de. And then the last piece of this, after a short pause, there's going to be ta, ti, di, ta, ti, ti, di, ti, di, ta. Okay? So it goes ta, ti. So the only parts that are open here in that little section is the first ta and the last ta. So ta, ti, di, ti. So ta is with the index finger, ti is with the other fingers closed, as you see here. Ta ti 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 ta. Ta ti index finger next. Okay, ti 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 is just index finger and other fingers alternating. So ta ti 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 ta. Ta ti 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 ta. So the entire mantra together with timing sounds like this. emphasize about this part of the mantra is that the, the first K, which is played with both hands, that K has to be extremely crisp and sharp. It has to be a crack or a slap sound. Not the simple, not like that. It has to be a real crack. It is the timing rhythm marker for this mantra. It is the main marker mantra, marker, marker bowl for this mantra. So it really needs to be crisp. Now, in the second piece of this progression, we're going to go to a new mantra, which is going to be a Kaherva mantra. It's an eight beat mantra. And there's something important about this and the rest of the mantras, basically parts two through five. And that is that they're all in a sort of swing tempo. That means that not every beat has the same value. It's sort of like, instead of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, it's like, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So there's more of a swing to it. You'll see that as we go along, but I just want you to keep that in mind that it's not going to be a straight, it's sort of swingier. All right? Now, let's go through the entire mantra all, all at once. The entire mantra is Dei Ketiri Ka 
Take day, take day, Ketiri ka. Take day, take day, Ketiri ka. Take day, take day. I think even in there you can see that I was swinging it a little bit. So let's tackle this mantra one step at a time. The first line is day, Ketiri ka. So there's a pause after the first day that you heard. Day, Ketiri ka. Okay? Now, day as as you know the normal day. Day. So day day. Starts with the index finger closed. Ka is the K plus ta. And this ka, this is the marker bowl for this mantra, the one you need to really emphasize with the crack. So that's the first line. I'll do it a little bit slower just so you can see every beat. One more time. Now, the second line is Tage de Tage. Pretty simple. That's it. Alright, so that's when you're doing it at a faster speed. Alright, let's put it all together in a full cycle and do it several times. Remember that the ka that comes in the first part of this mantra, that is the major crisp beat of this mantra. It needs to be a real crisp slap that you can hear. So let's begin. Dei ketiri ka, tage dei tage. So, so far you've learned the mechanics of how to play the first two new mantras in this five-part kirtan progression. So, to apply it in practice, the way it would work is you would start the kirtan with beat number one, usually at a slow pace, and then at some point when either the singer indicates to, to change or when it feels that the speed is sufficient enough to go to the next beat, that's when you would change right over to beat number two, which we just practiced. So it would sound something like this. first half of the five-part Kirtan progression. Stay tuned till the next part where we will cover the last three pieces which take you all the way from the 
slow slash medium pace all the way to the fast paced exciting finish of the gear cut. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Together, a little louder. Party.